Hello and welcome back to I Fix It For You Repair Videos. This video we're going to be working on this John Deere spindle here. It's a lot of different models. It's got a grease cert on it, but the bearings still fail fairly early. This one was only used one season and the bearings are real noisy and loud. Uh, there's a couple different pulleys that, that they use on this spindle depending on the mower it's on. So that's why I've got the pulley off of it. Uh, the main focus of this video is the spindle, so that's what we're gonna worry about. Uh, there's only four nuts, and the spindle just drops down off the deck. Uh, you'll have to take the, the pulley off for it to clear. Uh, the spindle goes up from the bottom. It's got four nuts that hold it on. Uh, so it's real easy to take off, so I didn't see any point in adding that to the video wasting your time watching me take this spindle off the problem that i have with this spindle is the grease never gets to the bearing it's got a hole right here in the side of the shaft and the grease comes right up and it just comes right back out the top it never even sees never even gets to the bearing i'm going to show you how to replace the bearings in the spindle modify it we're going to add a grease cert that works that you can get to uh, Whenever you're sharpening your blade or cleaning out from under your deck, you can just put the grease gun on there and put a few pumps of grease. Uh, let me show you on a cutout spindle that I have here where I can show you what I'm talking about. Okay, here's a cutout spindle that I made so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, the grease fittings right here that you grease, and there's a hole right here where it comes out. Uh, the grease never gets down in here to help the bearings at all. There is a seal and a spacer that sits on top of this, but I've got it out to where you can where you can actually see wh where the grease is going. So uh, I'm gonna set this down here and hook the grease gun up to it. Uh, I'm gonna start to pump this grease in here. So you can see the grease comes. You can see the grease coming out right there. The grease goes in here, comes out right here, does absolutely nothing for the bearings. So uh, we're going to modify this spindle and uh, put a grease cert in the side down here that does help. And then we're going to pop out these two inner seals so the bearings can benefit from the grease. Uh, I don't really understand why John Deere did this. I'd like for the engineer who designed this to tell us what he was thinking when he did this how is this helping uh, i don't understand it i'd like for somebody to tell me all right we're gonna take this spindle apart here uh, i usually run some run the nuts down on the threads a little bit just to protect the threads we don't want those threads getting boogered up so we're just going to run these nuts down to where it's flush with the end of the threads there because we're going to set this on here here in just a second I'm going to take this grease cert out right here it's a 5 16 nut driver just so I can gently tap on the shaft we'll put it back in when we're through you can take two blocks of wood like this and a lot of times the shaft will, be, will just fall out but sometimes you just need to lightly tap it There's a little spacer here, spacer at the top and the bottom. We're just going to use a little drip to set back down in there like this. To There's our spacer. There's our bad bearing. There's a seal there. Now we're going to flip it over do the same thing to the other side. Right there they are right there these bearings are really noisy not any good they're not that old either we're going to make us a mark here with the center punch where we can drill this hole for this grease cert i'm going to come down about a quarter inch uh, from that stud there because i need room to get my grease gun up on the grease fitting 
but we make a mark there so the drill bit doesn't walk. Okay, my my grease cert, the threads on it is a one quarter by 28, and the book calls for a 1364 drill bit. And I am drilling in at just a slight angle, just I'm angling up just a little bit. Don't water that hole out any because you want that fitting to be tight. Quarter by 28 tap here. We're going to put a little WD-40 on it. Whenever you're turning this in, don't just start twisting it in all the way. Go forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards. You're just giving that thing a chance to uh, bite in there. And we're not going to run it all the way in. Just run it in about an eighth of an inch because you want that fitting to, to snug down and bite down. So you don't have to do this, but I am going to put a little bit of Loctite on this grease cert. Uh, it just makes me feel better. Uh, it's not something you have to do. The factory doesn't even do it, but you know, I just like to do it. It just keeps the grease cert from backing out. A 5 sixteenths nut driver. I'm running in. Now remember you're, you're screwing into aluminum here so you don't want to just twist it real hard just nice and snug that's all that's necessary when I put my grease gun up on there to test it it feels nice and snug and uh, we'll see I can see grease coming out on the inside there so we're good so we're gonna go ahead and start to put this thing back together. Okay, we've got our new bearings here that we've knocked these seals out of. We're gonna go ahead and put them in there. Uh, it's not good to beat on new bearings. Uh, I get that, so I use, I've got this little piece of plastic. There's, I, I think it's okay just to tap them in there like that. Uh, then our spacer goes in the middle. These bearings were just almost fall in. They're not, they're not that tight in there. You can just almost push them in by your finger. So it doesn't hurt to tap lightly on them. Yeah, you, know, you don't want to hit on them hard. Now this spindle has uh, seals on both sides of it. Not all spindles have these seals, but this, this spindle has these seals here. This spindle has these little spacers that sit right down in there. You'll be able to fill it full of grease right there on the side. Now we'll look at that cutaway uh, spindle that I made and let you see how the grease actually gets to the spindle. I mean this thing already already feels smooth. Already feels a lot better. Okay, we got our grease cert there on the side. We got the seal removed from the inside of each bearing. So now when the grease comes through here, it, it will help the, the bearing. The bearing will benefit from the grease. I'm gonna try to zoom in where you can see this grease that's, that's coming through there. All right, you can. All right, as you can see, the grease is, is coming through. It'll help those bearings right there. So that, that's a, a whole lot better than what the factory had done. This spindle will definitely last longer, uh, get more years of service if you can grease the bearing. Uh, there, there's some things that you just can't deny and that's that a grease in a bearing will ha extend the life of a spindle any way you look at it. Uh, removing the seals allows the grease to get to the bearing. The way John Deere had this thing originally set up, the grease was that doing absolutely nothing. Alrighty, so we have a rebuilt spindle here now with a grease cert on that actually works. The grease will actually get to these bearings and make this last longer. Uh, this spindle uh, will be able to last for years right now. Grease that spindle two or three times a year, keep plenty of grease in it. 
Uh, you can pre-pack this with grease before you put it together. It'll just cut down on the amount of pumps that you have to push in here. Uh, there's not that much room, so it, it wouldn't take you that long to pump it up anyway. I will put links down below uh, where you can purchase these bearings as quick as I can. Uh, the grease certs, the drill bit, the taps. I'll, I'll try to have links to places where you can buy that. After you get this, putting this thing back together, be sure and put your original grease cert in the top of this shaft. Even though this grease cert's not doing anything, we need to put it back in there because we don't want water and dirt getting down in that shaft. It's, it wouldn't be good for it. But so now you'd be ready to slip this back under your mower, put these screws down, and uh, you could go ahead and bolt your pulley down uh, after you get it back on the mower. I hope this video helps you. I hope it saves you some money. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more repair videos.